Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to reflect, uh, I'm sorry, rotate a figure 180 degrees. And it doesn't matter if it's going clockwise or counterclockwise. Um, and I should have mentioned this on my last one. But we're going to be rotating about <clears throat> the origin. Okay, So that's going to become very, very important on how we're rotating. You know, If we're going to be doing this is, is what is the point that we're going to be rotating, which, which will be about the origin. OK. <clears throat> So the way that I like to um, look at trying to determine rotations is <clears throat> I like to go ahead and plot. So here's my origin. So when I'm looking at rotation, that's going to be like my fixed point. Okay. Um, so I like to a lot of times use wax paper or parchment paper and <clears throat> graph what exactly my image looks like. And you can see here I roughly have the shape of my triangle, right, right down there. And I make sure I have my origin right there. Now, when I'm rotating clockwise or counterclockwise, I'm going to keep the origin as my fixed point. So let's do counterclockwise. So if I rotate 90 degrees, you can see here my x-axis now turns into my y-axis. But notice how the origin is still exactly the same. So to go 180 degrees, I need to rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise one more time. Um, so therefore, now you can see that this is going to be what my new image is going to look like, where the figure is labeled down here. Now, it's helpful when you have parchment paper, some other paper, you can actually see where these coordinates would be and actually plot the new points. Um, however, if you don't have that type of paper or you still want to know, well, how exactly you know, can I just figure out the points without having paper and rotate and all that stuff, all that stuff there is actually another rule that we can use for any given coordinates in our pre-image. So here is our given coordinates. They're all x and y coordinates. And our pre-image, so to reflect these um, over the x and the y axis, all we're simply going to do is negate our x coordinates and negate our y coordinates, which pretty much means you know, taking the opposite of whatever the value is for x and the value for y. So now my new image is a prime, which is going to be now negative 6, negative 3. B prime is the honor going to be negative 4. And since 2 is already negative, it's going to be a positive 2. And C prime, 0, is not positive or negative, so we can't negate it. And that's going to then negative 4. So now I can simply just go and plot what my new pre-image points are going to be. And then that is going to be uh, or my new image points. Um, and that's going to be my new point. So let's plot negative 6, 3. So I go over negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 3. So that's now a prime. B prime is negative 4, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, up 2. And C prime is 0, negative 4. Oh, that's 0, negative 3. <laughs> OK. So that is what my figure looks like. And let's go ahead and determine, see if that kind of works sense the way I did this. Again, here is what my original image is. Reflect it 90 degrees counterclockwise, and then reflect it 180 degrees clockwise. So it should look something like this. We can see exactly that's what it does. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you reflect 180 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise about the origin. Thanks.